few years ago, this phrase floated into my mind. In the mountains, there was a valley, and in the valley were the horses. I knew there was going to be a story for that, but it took me a long time to find it. And finally, in 2021, it started to take shape. Maybe because our son and his young family had lived with us in the first year of lockdown, they just moved out. We were back in lockdown, and now we couldn't see them or our daughter and her family. Maybe because the borders were closed, and I knew I might never see my parents in Canada again. But maybe because whenever times are tough, I think it's time to take flight of my imagination. And my favorite escape dream would be to be riding a spirited horse in a really special place. And then I remembered a real but magical rainforest walk in Queensland once. So I said to my publisher, think Nim's Island with horses, because that was the feeling in me as I wrote, the same feeling of wildness and resilience and love. They didn't turn out exactly the same, of course, just as two siblings from the same family are always different, but still siblings. The biggest difference is one thing that's the exact opposite. In Nim's island, Nim and Jack choose to stay on their island, and that's why they'll protect it passionately against any outside influence. In Honey in the Valley of Horses, the family flees on an adventure to escape the pandemic, but they intend to go back. But they come to a bridge at the bottom of a mysterious mountain, and a herd of horses leads them to a beautiful valley. There was a rainforest too, with trees, berry bushes and flowers and strong swinging vines. There were birds and butterflies fluttering, cheeping and calling. There was a river that circled the mountain like a castle moat and sent a clear rippling creek into the valley. So it sounds like paradise, but is it paradise if you can't get out? I hope you read the book and find out.